Time to change out the table saw blade and I've got some plans for the blade itself. So I don't have a clock in my shop and I want to go ahead and make this into my new clock. First thing we're going to do is get all the old resin cleaned off in the area where I'm going to put some numbers at. I'm going to go ahead and clean some of the resin off of this. I use a tool cleaner. It's from Trin. Check out the link in the description. This stuff is what I use to clean the blades between replacement. Basically, you get wood resin and wood tar and pine, all sorts of stuff build up on the blade. So I take the blades off, usually whenever I'm switching out between dados and standards, and I clean them with this stuff, and then I put them back in, and it reduces wood burning quite a bit. So for the purpose of what I'm doing, I'm just trying to clean up the, the face of this so I can be and make a nice clock, but you can see how much stuff comes off of the blade when you clean them, all the wood residue and everything. That really helps reduce uh, burnout when you are using a blade like this. This is the DIY clock kit that I got off Amazon. Check out the link for this. Um, this one specifically has two different clock mechanisms in it with an assortment of clock hands. So we've got some pretty fancy ones, some red ones, some black ones with the second hand, and some black ones with the black second hand. I'm probably going to use the red ones on this clock. We're going to try them out and see what we think. But this kit is made for a clock face that you would make and drill the hole for or pre-purchase, not a specific saw blade. And since, so this hole is 5 eighths of an inch, and this shaft is 3 eighths, we gotta make up the difference. And we're gonna use a little washer that happens to be just over 5 eighths. I mean, just, I mean, whew, 10 thousandths over, if that. And I'm hoping that drops right in there and we're able to tap it in place. So we've started that washer. My vise doesn't have a deep enough throat to compress that in there, so we're gonna use, pound it in with the hammer. Just like that. So we've got the vinyl numbers installed on the saw blade. We've got the washer installed in the center. So the components the clock kit comes with are the mechanism, the hanger that is pressed on here currently but is loose when it comes with it, the rubber washer, the bronze washer, the brass or bronze nut, a different assortment of clock hands, and the wall hanger. I'm going to add a washer, this one, in order to pinch the clock face because of how thin it is and then we need a obviously a double a battery so for installation we put the rubber washer on and we're going to slide the clock face over the top making sure we are aligned at the 12 o'clock position which we are in my case i'm going to use this extra washer and then the bronze or brass washer, not sure, and the nut. Now that we have that assembled, we're going to assemble the clock hands. In my case, we are doing the red ones. They come with a protective film on them, which we're going to remove very carefully. So the hour hand is the first one that goes on. 
and we're going to put it at the 12 o'clock position very carefully pushing down on the center directly around until it is down flush and then we will install the minute hand doing the same thing and then the second hand you want to make absolutely certain that the blades are not going to interfere with each other so we're going to check to make sure that they are ever so slightly bent towards the clock face away from each other so they don't interfere with each other during the rotation I want to move the minute and the second hand back until they're directly over the top of each other in sync with itself Well, we got the clock up on the wall. That was a fun little project. I was, I was obviously able to reuse the table saw blade that was no good. Ordered the clock kit on Amazon, and now it's up on the wall and keeping time. So that's pretty awesome. I'm glad to have that in the shop. It was a fun little project. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. Definitely check out those links in the description down there. You can get the uh, cleaner for the blade or the clock kit itself. All stuff that is pretty handy to have in the shop. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Appreciate you watching.